today we're going to be looking at uh, VLOOKUP and we're also going to be looking at uh, how to add a filter as well. Okay, so for the lookup, we're going to be looking specifically at VLOOKUP. The V stands for vertical lookup. Uh, and this is how we're going to build the formula. It might look a bit complicated now, but it will be a lot easier uh, when I show you some examples. So what we start off, again with formulas always start off with our equal sign. We type in our function which is the VLOOKUP and then we have the value. So we're going to look up a particular value, then we're going to find the table and then the column index number and then we're going to say whether we want to find an exact match or an approximate match which is when we use our, our true or false uh, in this section. So to show you some examples, uh, we're going to have a look here at a sweet shop calculation model. Okay, you might recognize this from a, a previous uh, lesson that we've had. Uh, we've just changed it slightly. So what we have here, this is an order form uh, for people that want to place an order for the sweets. And if you have a look underneath, we have our items worksheet, and we have our code, our description, the type, and the cost. So the code for dairy milk is DM. The description is dairy milk. It is a chocolate bar and it costs five pounds seventy-five pence. Okay, and there's a list of all the different codes and the descriptions here, the types and the costs. Now let's have a look at our order form. Let's say for example somebody wants to order uh, let's go back to say Kit Kat. Somebody wants to order five Kit Kats. So we want to put in there five and the code for the Kit Kat, as we know, is KK. Now we're going to use this code to look up the description, the type and the price. OK, now we do that using the equals VLOOKUP. So I'm going to start it off here, equals VLOOKUP. OK, uh, we open up our brackets and as you can see, what's highlighted here is the lookup value. Now what we want to look up is this. We want to look up B3, which is the item code. So we're going to look up the item code. Okay, we're going to hit our comma there and we can see the table array is now highlighted. So now we're going to look for the table. All the items are on the items worksheet. So we want to highlight the whole table. Okay, this is our table array. Now we press comma and you'll see the column index number light up next. Now the column index number is when you start from the table, this is considered column index number one, column index number two, three, and four. So we're going to put in there for the description, column index number two, hit our comma again, and you can see we've got two options here. We've got true for an approximate match, something that's similar, or false for an exact match. We want an exact match, so we're gonna go for false. Then we close our brackets, hit enter, and you can see the description here is uh, Kit Kat, which is what we want. Now, as we, if we were to uh, autofill, it won't work again because you've forgotten about uh, the absolute style references. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to use our dollar symbol here. Okay, for A1 and D15. Okay, so we put a dollar before the A, dollar before the 1, and we put 1 before the D and the 15. Okay, because if you have a look here, it moves to A2 to D16, and here it even goes further to A10 to D24. And if we have a look, A10 is here, D24 is not correct. So we have to put in the absolute cell reference. Okay, so now we can bring these down. Okay, and then we can change these as you just give give you an example DM dairy milk okay now we want to look up the type okay so for the type again we're going to go to equals V lookup the lookup value is going to be the item code comma the table array we go back to the table again we highlight our table this time we're looking up the type, okay? So the column index number won't be two, because this is number two here. So we want to go for number three. And if you remember, the exact match is false. So we type in there, false. 
okay hit enter and we can see we've got the type is chocolate and now the price let's do it again equals VLOOKUP open your bracket the lookup value is B3 we want to look up B3 comma the table array where is the table the table is here comma column index number two three four so column index number four and we want an exact match so again it will be false okay now just to go back just to remind you all we need to put in the dollar before the a a dollar before the one and the same again for the d15 because when we auto fill this down we want those cells to remain in place Okay, absolute cell reference, that's cool. Okay, A1 to D15. Okay, so let's take all of these. We can bring these down like so. Okay, so now we are ready to build our orders. Now, let's say, for example, the next item we would like is um, some, let's say, let's go with some biscuits, some rich tea, and some Oreos. So we got RT. And OO. So in here we can type in there RT. You can see automatically it takes the description, the type, the price. And then let's put in there, let's put in there 8 for example. We can put in there OO. Do you remember OO, which is for Oreo biscuits? And it fills it in like so. Okay, just to show you again, I can change this to 3 Oreos. And you can see it takes the description the type and the price and it calculates it all for you here let's add another one in let's go for uh, five let's go for Snickers bars SN okay we can take our three cells autofill Snickers again we can bring this down like so okay and we're going to add two more items just to finish this off okay so we won't go for Snickers Let's go for some Starburst, SB. And you can see Starburst, Sweets, and it changes the price. And the next one, last one, let's go for some Twix. Let's go for 12 bars of Twix and 8 Starburst. Okay, and we just copy, autofill the formulas down. And you can see here, we can even change these letters here. For example, Oreos, we've changed our minds. Mars bars. Okay, so you can use this and it looks up the items here. The column index number one is the first column, two, three, and four. And what we're looking for is, is a, an exact match. Okay, so we have in there false. So again, to recap the formula, equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is what we want to look up. And then the table array is where is the information that we're looking up we highlight the table now the column index number is which column are we going to be taking the information from and is it an exact or an approximate match okay so that is how you do your VLOOKUP next we're going to have a quick look at how we use uh, the filter okay so the filter we highlight the information like so under the data tab at the top you can see we have our filter option so if we click on filter you can see we have options on each of these now if I only wanted to show for example uh, all the types which are sweets I can just go to sweets select it and say ok and can you see that is how we filter okay and then we have our information again if I wanted to select only biscuits I can select only the biscuits like so okay uh, for the values we can even filter the values if I want everything that costs more than five pounds I can go to the cost a number filter greater than five pounds okay and you can see it filters everything that costs more than five pounds okay
okay so that is how you use your filter go back to select all and you can select everything that you want you can even sort it in order here as well okay that's the end of today's lesson thank you